Welcome, everybody, to the Tuesday show. Um, you may notice the mic is in a different position. That's because I finally got to around the listening to the show from two weeks ago where I played Nuclear Throne, and the sound was terrible. And I think part of it was I was trying to do something with my mic that my mic just wasn't able to handle <clears throat> to keep it off screen which is fine so now i'm uh bringing it down and hopefully the sound quality will be better uh if not give a shout <laughs> um we're gonna start with uh green screen problems already no it's it's a cat attacking the green screen that is the problem and me punching stuff um so yeah we're gonna play some ftl um do, 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 do. Random ships. Uh, wow. The Vortex only has one crew member. He better be an amazing crew member. Do I get to see if he's amazing? No. Alright, let's look at the list. Um, I guess that would be the... Nope. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Game. Ah, that's right. Then... NG Cruiser Type B, then Type C. Um, it keeps wanting us to play the Vortex. I'm actually... That ship was big. Is it the... Uh, yeah, it was the uh, B version of the... Um, what are these people called? <coughs> um, Lanius, that's right. I was never going to remember that. Anyway, I'm still going to... Uh, I think I'm still going to start with the uh, with the Kestrel today. Just because we did so bad last time. <laughs> so, so we're, FTL might be, let's see, you know, these runs could take anywhere from us dying in five minutes as we did last time. Or uh, <clears throat> like an hour and a half. So, <laughs> we'll see see where the wind takes us on this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're starting off in a nebula. That's usually not good. Um, but, you know, it's going to open up some jump opportunity. Because if we can go here... All right, good. We can cross over. we got to plan it out. Oh, we have to end here. This is a little bit of a problematic situation. So, yeah. So, we have to go to one of these two. Okay, it gets a little better. So, we're going to jump back. You want to get as many jumps in as possible. <clears throat> well, we don't need any repairs, so... But, uh, thank you anyway. So we're gonna come down here. Uh, small platform looks like a fuel station of some sort. Truly broadcasting reasonable prices. Yeah, we'll dock with them. Wait for them to finish. Oh, god damn it. He's dock with the explosion in your engine room. Warning lights flash. Your ship pirates are stationed aboard. Uh, everybody to here. Let's pause. We're gonna open up all the doors. And, um... Turn off the, the oxygen momentarily. Alright, we'll turn the oxygen back on. And we'll close this these doors. Come on and fight me, bros. Oh, wow, they just, they've given up on life. <laughs> they just want to break my shields. What jerks? There you go, boys. Come on into the fight where you can't win. There we go. All right, close everything up. Open all inter internal doors. Get everybody on the shields. Let's fix it up. We only took those three, that three damage, which is okay. And everybody... Come fix the engine. I was hoping to get some cheap fuel. I only have 10 scrap. I <laughs> couldn't get that much fuel. Anyway. We're going to wait a second for the uh, for the oxygen to at least get over 50. I was going to the opportunity to get a little drink here. Ah, delicious. 
<clears throat> Alright, we're over 50. Let's get out of here. It's, I think we can jump here. That's fine. Uh, let's take a risk. Hey! Made a little scrap. Let's shut all the doors. Distress, huh? I want to jump up here so I can jump to that nebula. It'll buy us another jump. Let's attack the automated ship. Alright, we're going to start weapons here. Actually, we're going to start drone here because we can take. Oh, that is bad. You get out. Go here. No, go here to shields. Alright, let's get that fire out. And then. First laser under the shields. Now I guess we might as well just close it up. There's no more oxygen in there, so. Hopefully that fire will go out soon. Start working on repairs. Keep a close eye on his health. Want to get that shield down. So you put an extra point in dodging. You know what we have to do? We have to, uh... Oh, he fixed it! Get out! No, both of you out. You go here. You go heal. And then... Alright, their shield is down. Take out the pilot. Oh, the drone's back online. Never mind, we're taking out that. Yeah, the drone is still a threat because of the uh, occasional double shot that it lays down. Alright. Turn off the med bay. There we go. Whew. 14. Oh, a hull beam. Let's see what this... Alright, two power... That's a large charge, large charge time. Ah, uh, okay, two. Okay, it's not the best. Beam weapons can be very interesting. Aquad, welcome to the stream, sir. That's okay, man. Thanks for stopping by and saying hey. All right, it's charging its FTL. It's trying to get the hell out of here. We're probably. Oh, this thing has a beam. Oh, it's all beams. Never mind. Focus that. <laughs> focus that drive. I'm gonna send a missile on the shields just to make sure it doesn't get away. Got it. Yeah, the beam weapons can't penetrate the one layer of shield, so we're good. Down it goes. No warning the fleet. Let's see. We're, this we could still make it to this distress beacon. Probably worth it. Unencrypted chatter between the ships. You tune in and listen to anything interesting. Overhearing conversation. It seems that they need to take possession of enemy ship intact. Um, they're gonna tell us we don't have the we are not properly equipped because we don't have a crew teleporter. Which is fine. Oh shit! I can't go there. I can come back up this way, though. We'll see. See how it goes here. Oop! Oh, no. Another ship trying to give away our position. We'll just fire that immediately. There we go. Ooh, that's bad. You get in and help. I'll fire more missiles at you. I'm okay with that. That is also bad. Stop it! Alright, now our weapons are offline. Which is really bad. And you need to get out of there. Come on, man. Fight that fire. Fight it. Get back in there and help. Oh, 
All right, let's hopefully. All right, good. That usually only does damage to systems. We need this done. Good. You go repair here. We are in trouble. That is no joke. No. All right, we got them at least. <laughs> All right, we got an anti-personnel drone. We're hurt. Eh, we're not hurt too bad, actually. We still have plenty of hull integrity. Systems can all be repaired. Everybody, hop on in. Get yourself healed up. Alright. Take that power out. Turn our shield back on. Can this ship get oxygenated, please? Alright. Distress, distress. See, if we go to this distress beacon, we're going to be pretty boned. Yeah, there's nothing... Eh, we have some things to sell. Let's see. This is... Jumping to that beacon... This is Joe. Yeah, you know what? I think we can go to here and then the store. Eh, let's just go to the store first. Nothing else. We can probably sell some things and. Long range scanners are really good. Like, really, really, really good. Um, oh, whoop, burst laser 2. That is also good. Anti personnel drone. That just gets sold. Same with the hull beam. Not a thing that we really need. We can get long range scanners. I can get that second burst laser mark two. Or what is this? That's 50, 90, or second tick of shields. I think with the second burst laser mark two, we're not gonna be able to use it for a very long time. But it's a really solid weapon. You know, uh, let's just go with the with the shields here. See, so yeah, the long range scanners, we can see when there's a ship places. No, we're gonna need the Federation ship. Let's get that uh, weapon. Oh, look at this! Look at you. We're gonna two v one you here. Hopefully this will miss. What is it with our oxygen? Why do people hate it so much? That's not really the thing I wanted to go down. And then a missile just flies into nothing. You guys repair this, for God's sakes. Whew, at least I didn't hit a system. There we go. Rocket launcher offline. Everybody back to their positions. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Stay offline. We're going to go pilot next. Reduce that dodging chance. There we go. Now they now every shot's going to hit. Good gravy. And both you guys get in there and fix that. Need more crew. Damn it. Well, don't really care that our doors are busted. One more shot's all it takes. One of these laser things... Well, I guess technically two. There we go. Alright. 14 scrap. Saving us from the Federation civilians. On a run from the rebellion. <clears throat> we don't have equipment to fight for ourselves. Not much to offer, but you can form the Hidden Federation base nearby. Alright. Not too bad. Let's uh, repair the doors. Actually, let's have you guys heal, and you can repair the doors. Ships up to 100% oxygen. That's nice. To have air. Doors fixed. And yes, they are. Sweet. 
Can we get the ooh? This quest marker is death, unfortunately. Man, I'm glad I went to the store first because going here first would have mean missing this store. All right, unfortunately, we have two more jumps left because of the layout at the end. Let's see. Rebels uh, in the system are doing supply runs for the local space stations. Civilians have likely been out of supply for months due to the war and are in desperate need. We always attack the rebels. Oh, hello. That bomb nearly went off. Positions. Everybody back to stations. Yeah, that laser cannot hurt us. Um, the bomb can, however. Depending on what type of bomb it is. It is occasionally tough to tell. Let's, uh, let's go shields. No, you know what? It's wor So far, it's been working, hitting the... Uh, there we go. Let's see. We killed the crew! <laughs> I guess this was not a well-crewed ship. So that's great. We get some extra fuel, extra scrap out of that. Uh, they'd already made their delivery to the civilians. and eh, we'll leave the civilians alone. Mainly because they tend to booby trap the supplies. Vote Federation. A hey, char uh, large uh, laser charger. All right, it's not too bad. It uh, I believe it holds up to two shots. Shots per charge one, max charge two. Yeah, so the charge weapons were new with the um. The expanded content. All right, next sector: uncharted nebula or rock-controlled. Yeah. Well, nebula is just bad news bears. Um, let's go rock control. That also give us at least the option to go up this way. All right, new sector. Ah, exclamation points are ships, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we can also avoid things like asteroid fields and nearby suns, which are the worst things. But we want to go to ships. Ooh, I didn't heal up the crew. That might be... That might come back to bite us. Uh, computer's being scanned. A hidden rock vessel hails you. Why do you fill your computer with lies? These are not the holy words. Before you can interject, they open fire. Ooh, they have a flak cannon. Let's hold that. Let's get that shield shot in there. Ooh. Let's, uh... You know, with all their weapons offline, send you to do that. We're going to wail on their weapons some more. There we go. And then we'll wail on their shields to finish them off. Flak weaponry just wrecks shields real bad. Alright, you guys get in here, please. There we go. You know what might be a good thing to do? Well, it's still cheap. Yeah, let's uh, get an extra bar of dodging. That 5% goes a really long way. Alright. Alright, this exit is surrounded by... Okay, we have a, a lot of options here. Good. Long-range scanners are going to help us out a whole bunch. <sighs> let's uh... We always attack the slaver scum. Here comes somebody. Somebody about to get 2v1. Made a mistake. Oh, and their weapons can't hurt us. Oh. 
<laughs> it stunned them all because the yeah, this is a stunning weapon here. So let's just uh, take that out and we'll refocus on shields and everybody back to their stations. Get out of that room because you're going to get stunned over and over again. So, while we're just wailing the crap out of these guys. Another sip from the, uh, oh, you know what? Auto fire, please. This is why you buy two, two levels of shields early. As you run into a ship like this that just straight can't hurt you. Ah, I'll, I will take that. You are a shield man now. Jose, do you have any specialties? Nope. Alright, so this guy is a, um, what, he's a Zoltan, that's right. Uh, so he provides one bar of energy for any room that he's in. Which is great. <laughs> one free bar of energy. And then honestly, the whole reason I attacked them was to, uh, for the possibility of getting a free slave... I have a better life on our ship than on that slaver ship, so. Alright, a little, little pirate action. I don't... That's a BL2. And that's an... They, are, they have our weapons. Bastards. Ooh, come on, dodges. That is not dodges. That is a hull breach. Close that up. Open the doors. Keep the oxygen high. All right, good. Repairs are actually going. Stations. Oh, we opened up a... Uh, hey, auto fire off. Wasting ammo. But th with a breach in that room, that's really, really, real, real good. I got it back online. Hopefully their weapon guy isn't as good as ours. Yes! Alright. Nice bit of scrap. Hopefully we'll find a store in this sector. Uh, sector. Yeah, usually sectors have two stores each, with I think NG having three stores. Right, we can go up here and then go to that distress. My collection of rock ships... Are stationed around the beacon. Uh, they look to have resorted to the pirate's life. Defensive maneuvers. Alright, now this ship actually can't hurt us. This only fires one, I think. And then the beam. So let's start on shields. Yep, one shot. And then... So... All right, we'll just uh, hit their engines, I guess. Get their dodge chance to zero. Hit their oxygen next. Now they got to worry about fixing that. Then we can hit their shields again, and it'll probably kill them. Oh, resist! What jerks. There we go. Alright, nice. Three fuel is very good. And we do not want to go to near a sun because I don't want my ship to catch on fire. Which is a thing that can happen. When you're near a sun. Oh yeah, let's see. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for the res uh, thanks for responding to our beacon. Our fuel navigation is going haywire. We can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Can I lead us there? Yeah, sure. Uh, ten scrap. Take this bit of scrap uh, as a down payment. We'll use your jump signature to follow you. You're really helping us out here. You got it, man. Do I go to the store? No, the store. Eh. 
You know what? I think we can afford it. I think we can make it to the store and out. I may have messed up, though. Uh, mm, flak one is nice. Flak one is very, very nice. Uh, crew aren't very skilled at all. This charge laser is out of here. Page two. Nah, this usually isn't very helpful. Um... I don't have a clone thing, so no thank you. Let's buy out their fuel. Let's repair up a bit. Let's repair up a bit more. All right, I'm, I think that I think we're good. I think that's that's fine. If, if I come across a flak, I'll use it. I'm not really... I mean, I know we're going to have to upgrade our weapon system at some point, but... Right now, there's... We're looking for that, like, that big ticket item. As a natural warlike species with a few intergalactic diplomatic ties, the rock people have garnered quite the reputation as fearsome pirates. You stumble across one of their ships, and they promptly lived, live up to type. Alright, that... This is a little scary. This isn't. Ah, system and person damage. That's no bueno. Ah, but a fire in their weapons room is muy bueno. Although, they're rock, so they're not hurt by fire. What is that? Uh oh. I touched a thing that I shouldn't have touched. Uh. Huh. Looks like I touched a wire. Did it destroy my speakers, or is this button just... maybe... I don't know, there's, there's a wire that's loose. Aha! Alright. Give me one second to fix that so it doesn't happen again. Up the green screen. Wunderbar. All right. <laughs> Time in. Must. You know, we should have him heal just in case. And this should finish him off. Ah, oh, resisted the damage. What jerks. Save our crew positions. Got it. All right. We can hit up the quest, and then we can uh, go to the exit. Oh, we got five hull points repaired. Nice. I don't think we can make it without your help. Let my friends patch up some of your hull. And sell you wares. Yes. Oh, I would love... I would love a cloaking device. But we are just... We are just not in the market. Hacking stun. Usually these aren't these aren't the best. Cloaking is so good. Uh, cloaking is a thing that we're gonna we're almost going to have to pick up later. I like mind control. Mind control is a very nice thing. Um, I 
Hmm. But we need to improve our sensors to use it. I'm trying to think of like what I used to run. I think it was hacking cloaking mind control because you can get you have rooms you have room for three more systems I believe. If you look at the ship, yeah, these these can be filled up with systems. I'm trying to remember if it was hacking cloaking mind control or. You know what? Mind control is really good. We're going to pick it up. We need to improve our sensors, unfortunately, and make a little power available, which we can do out of the med bay. But, I mean, we, we literally can't use it until <laughs> our sensors get upgraded, so. All right. Uh, I No, I do not need drum parts. Thank you. Next sector, please. Yeah, we're going to go to the pirate controlled. Let's see. This is one, two, three green, and this is only two. So, yeah. Green sectors are a little little easier, so we're going to head there. Rhino and Nebula. All right. I'm guessing this is this just more in the Nebula. Uh, ion storms. Definitely want to avoid those. All right. Let's go here possible ship sensors are down anyway so attack the ship beam drone not concerned really although if these guys both get a hit it could be bad yes shield way to come back up oh my they have a repair drone look at them and let's uh, just hit their shields That should send the repair drone offline. No. That's bad. I'm almost positive that's on fire. Oh, yeah, you can hear the fire. Another missile on their shields. Excellent. Give you everything we have. That's a little less scrap than I would like. All right, close up the doors. One more hit and we're good to go. I don't think this weapon is gonna, oh, it's not gonna charge up in time. Go, yes, we did it. That's more scrap. That's more of what I was looking for. And we'll just upgrade our sensors right away. And our... No, we don't have enough for doors. But that's next on the list. Um, don't really have the money for a store. Let's go here where there's a ship. Let's see. Especially well-armed pirate. Ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you will go free unharmed. Draw straws to the crew member over the slavers. We'll never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Alright, so they have an NG. They have two beam weapons that can't hurt us. And yeah, they can't hurt us. Uh, they're so well armed that they cannot, they actually cannot hurt us. <laughs> um, let's mind control this guy. Yeah, fight in there. So, you know, they don't have a way to heal their crew. So I'm just going to keep mind controlling them until only one is left. And then I will kill that person with laser beams. And then we'll get a whole a lot bigger uh, selection. Of either, you know, crew members or just scrap in general. So I like mind controlling the Senji. And then burst lasering them all. Oh, and it's on fire now. Actually, kind of hope he puts it out, but, you know. Hope he loses a ton of health in the process. Hit this guy. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Because we're just gaining experience. You can see 
right over here, every time we dodge a shot, we're getting a little skill up for our pilot. It's going to increase our evasion. There we go. There they are. And our engine skill also going to increase our evasion. Very, very good stuff. And another opportunity for a little drink. Uh, the Katniss Cup. Ah, oh, the miss. So unfortunate. Oh, man, the music in this game is really good. I hope it's not ultra loud. Oh, the missing is getting very real. Kirby. Oh, but Kirby's about to skill up here. Seven more shots and he's in. Yep. Come on. There it is. Oh, we surrender. Take over. No, surrender is not an option because you're about to die. You are about to die. Got it. Oh, so good. Oh, we got all this extra scrap and a rock crew member. It appears the slavers did not survive the fight. You find their burnt bodies in the hold. But before you strip their ship, you hear a faint noise uh, in the walls. You break off a latch and a slave falls out from a hidden compartment, coughing. Uh, once recomposed, the slave offers to join your crew. Sweet. Do you have any skills? Quet skin? No, that's fine. Where do I need you? You'll know, be a good place for you. Doors. Get those doors rock solid. And we're going to up them as well. So now we have really strong doors. Alright, that was that was just a great fight for us. We got a bunch of level up experience and uh, <clears throat> another, uh, another crew member, so... And I'll head up to this distress because there's a lot of beacons over here. Because we're gonna come down to this one next. Exit has plenty of options. We're good. We're looking real, real good. Appears just being is coming from the surface of the nearby moon, picking up the signal of a life form. Um. Go down to the surface and investigate. You find a colony that seems to have recently attacked. Explore the station. You find a lone survivor. Let's take him home to his family. Eh, we could use another crew member. Yeah, invite him to join the crew. Hey! Sid said he was a weapons operator before being stranded. He happily offers your services uh, for a time exchange for getting off that rock. So, you may be a weapons dude, but you're going to be my sensors dude. Because Mantis are really good fighters. So now, we have a pretty diverse crew here. Uh... The Charlie the Mantis, Scott Scott Kletzen, the Rock Man, Jose the Zoltan, and Stick, Tilek, and Kirby, the humans. So, and, and Kirby's about to skill up anyway. Four more shots, and he'll be on par with uh, Charlie there. So I'm okay with that. Store, we don't have enough scrap for anything, so. Just moving on. Automated message. Uh, this, this is an automated message. Re resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. Appears to be a rebel ship. Is run by AI. Whoa. No. That's another great thing about mind control is that uh, you can unmind control your mind control guys. So this I'm not afraid of. This might hurt. Is it one shot or two? Oh, it's only one. Well, it only got one off. We're going to hit the piloting system next because this ion, ion burst can't hurt us. No. Who went Charlie? No, stop it. Uh, let's hit the mind control unit. There we are. Hey, he leveled up. Kurt, uh, yes. Did he? No, who leveled up? Now Kirby leveled up, right? Oh, we got a scrap recovery arm. So you're supposed to leave behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. 
So let's see. Crew. Yes, so you, you can see, um, can't, but right here, evasion plus seven is in green. And then 15% uh, faster charge on weapons. And that's it. So, uh, but oh, the other thing we got the scrap recovery arm, 10% more scrap. If you pick one up, it's real good. Uh, you know, we might be able to, to dip into this nebula and then actually make it back up to the store. I didn't realize how far ahead of the uh, the rebel fleet we were. Rebel uh, autonomous scout is exploring the beacon. You attempt to hide behind a nearby moon, the ship finds you and begins its assault. Oh, they jerks! Look at their stealth action. We're gonna take down that cloaking device first. You know, it's gonna be worth it to uh, to do that. There we go. Just so they don't disappear on us again. Not... Oh! Uh, I might want to be go, go be a helper there. That tickled. Alright, the ion weapon can't hurt us, so I'm okay. Okay with all this now. There we go. Ship exploding by a collection of useful scrap material. Fantastic. Put one into there. Just heal this guy up. Put that back. Let's see. You know what? I'm actually going to... Um... No, wait. We have to... We're saving up for a cloaking device. How could I forget? Yeah, nothing too harmful in the nebula. So, might as well check it out. Nothing. Fair enough. Let's get out of here and fight a ship. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. Nearby pirates seem to have advanced... Uh, advanced hacking tools. Try to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational. God, and they cloak too. Turn it down just the tiniest bit. Oh. Alright, that burst laser mark two is scary. So we're going on the shields. That is not good. We're gonna mind control the guy on weapons. Yeah, please start attacking those weapons. Shot our missile, jerks. That is very bad. You go help. Because now we can't, our dodge chances, nothing. All right, we got it back. They're not invading. Let's go repair. There we go. The fire is not that big of a deal because, like I said before, they're rocks. They'll just put it right out. But, make them fight in it. Until they broke my damn mind control unit. Wow, resisted all that hull damage. Fix this. This rock is going to be the best repairman ever by the time his stint with us is over. Keep on those shields. Back on the doors, I guess, for now. I control the guy fixing weapons. Have him not fix weapons. But hurt weapons. That's bad. You need to go help him. And you need to get out. Is 
stop with the breaking of the mind control unit. They're going to run out of missiles soon, and then they'll be in trouble. No, yes. <laughs> All right, back to doors. All right, the mind control wore off. Yikes. We're taking a it's this fight is rough, but we're we're doing okay. I think they just ran out of missiles. That wasn't even really affecting us. Let's go back here. Just to get ready for the... No, they still have... That's right. The rock guys are all missile focused, so... Again, just hurt the weapons, man. And stop missing. Jeez. You need to go heal. Get out of there. Alright, well at least our shield guy got an up. Stop repairing. Start hurting. Unrepair weapons. Well, they killed the one. That's a thing, I guess. Oh, they didn't want to fire to break their stealth early. That's fine. The more time they spend in stealth, the more time I have to uh, hit the old mind control unit back up and running. As soon as it's back up, I want to mind control this guy. You two fight for my amusement. Finally. That is a good amount of scrap. But we took a lot of damage. Gained a lot of experience from... In dodging, though. Oh, I guess uh, a little power would be good. And everybody back to stations. What is this? You know what? I'm okay going up and then back to avoid the sun. Nothing there. Hit up this store. Ah, oh, they have it. They have it. I mean, we would have to sell both. Let's let's math. Scrap recovery arm sells for twenty five. It brings us to one thirty seven. We would be at. Yeah, we could do it. But we'd have to sell both those things <sighs> and I'm just I'm just it's too much buy them out of fuel ooh let's just get out of here we'll get another chance Alright, ready to go to the next sector. Yeah, I'm okay with one fuel for five missiles. And let's see. I'm actually going to buy one point of that because it off it opens up... Uh, it's the cheapest way to open up a lot of... Uh, extra options on, on jumps. Yeah. Hmm, might be able to do that little box. Ah, see? Scrap recovery arm. 
the blue options. This is the first time we've gotten a blue option since I started playing this game again. If you have blue options, are usually like super good, but you need a specific situation to open them like open them up like this one, the scrap recovery room. That's why I put the second point in uh, the medical bay. It opens up a lot of blue options. Scans are large. Astro field ahead. Short range scanners um, may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Let's use a scrap recovery arm to mine the asteroids. 50 scrap! That is crazy. Hey, we're talking as much useful material as possible from the nearest asteroid while waiting for the FTL to charge. Fantastic. All right. There are only 41 away. <clears throat> Swift Ryan system held by a small cruiser. What good fortune that we happen to run into each other. Nothing personal, but you have some information we need. That's a lot of weapons. Uh, yeah, so here's what we're going to do. One of the other great parts of the, uh, the mind control unit. We're going to mind control the pilot. No pilot means no dodging. No dodging means... Everything hits. That flak is scary. Uh, six fuel is a lot of fuel, but you know what? That's fine. That's a fine offer. I'll take it. We gotta get a move on though. Hmm. Yeah, but Zoltan, that's a great pilot, isn't isn't really what I'm looking for. Um, huh. Having a max shield guy would be pretty good. A number of ships stationed around the rest stop. You immediately receive a message saying, if you're looking for some bodies to fill your ship, you've come to the right place. What is our shield? Can't check what our shield guy is. I know it's Jose. But where would I put Jose then? I mean, I could just put Jose anywhere. Put Jose in weapons or in the engine room. Just to provide that bar of power. Even leave him in the shield room. In all honesty. We're going to buy this guy because shields are so important. Let's see. You come in here. Come on back. And see, I think that's the last crew member we can get. Oh, no, we have, we have room for one more. Excellent. Ideally, I would want a Mantis. So this guy gives us 30% faster recharge on our shield. Oh, you know what? We want to pull it out of that. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to have to go here and then up to the store if we want to hit that store. All right, hull repair drone and 17 scrap for nothing. Answer by station for eight. Probably programmer or just schematic of a drone. And then we go from the store to a distress. All right, let's see if they have what I'm looking for. They do. How much does this drone sell? Oh, wow, that drone sells for a lot. That's right, because it repair, it repair drones are... Allow you to just, you know, turn drone parts into health, which is pretty nice. Um, but we definitely want cloaking. <laughs> it's just cloaking is just way, way too important. Um, buy some fuel. Yeah, we'll buy, we'll buy one fuel. I think that's sufficient. Exit beacons surrounded by things, which is great. And then we can jump over to this cluster here, which will hopefully have a lot of good stuff for us. Giant alien spiders. We don't mess with that. They're no joke. We leave that alone. And you can do remarkable things just pile of scrap the NG hive at this beacon. Some equipment for just that. 
Hmm. Zoltan Shield Bypass is really nice, but, um... I mean, hacking would be the only thing that I really want from here. God, this late, this late, and crew still have nothing. And no weapons, more importantly, so... See you later, guys. Yeah, we can go up to here. We can come down to this distress, and then... Jet out, I think. Yeah, I think that's enough. It's hard to sometimes estimate how many jumps you get. Alright, we're actually going to take one out of dodge and put it into the cloaking device here. That is an attack drone. Mantis, this is all you, buddy. Uh, this thing's going to... This thing's going to let out a pulse that... Uh, Hurts everyone. Yep. Alright, we're gonna mind control the pilot. And it broke our weapons. Let's open all the doors so air doesn't go as bad. Jeez. I hate to say it, but you guys need to go get some health. God, and the shields are hurt. Everything's hurt. Alright, at least that missed. Got some weapons that are coming online. Good, we're going to break this thing. Excellent. Where was that one? Oh, jeez. You go put that out. You come back here. You just keep healing. Oh, we broke the doors. God, they're terrible repairmen. Oh, no, the doors are just stunned. Shut them. Get that. God, I hate you. Not enough power. That's fine. Ooh, somebody's hurt. This guy's hurt. Cloak to make everything miss. I'm going to throw down on their damn drone part here. Break this drone. Um, doesn't matter because it's broken. Right, at least you're fighting the Manus now. This is a bad fight for us. I mean, not from a... From like a crew that hurt. Look at, the, look at the people that are hurt. They got a hole in the damn ship and... Actually, that it hurt the hull, too. Yes! Alright. So, mind control you. First laser right there. Good. Set the drone thing on fire. Uh, you go help there. No, get the cloaking device up. You help that too. Send this burst laser right on these shields. You know what? Forget it. There we are. No, you caused me too much grief, man. You gave up the option for surrender. Oh, we killed him! Yes! That means a ton of scrap. Alright. Uh, who's healthiest? You, and you, and Kirby. All get in there. And uh, we're gonna juice that thing up. There we go. Let me shut all the doors. <laughs> the ship broke up because it was on fire. <laughs> right, you guys get in there and heal. Get in there and heal. Get in there and heal. Everybody full up before we move on.
good stuff. Good stuff. I know they got the cloaking device. We can afford a little more power. To spend money on a little more power, I should say. Um, Alright, yeah. Worst case scenario, we skip that ship and head to that other beacon. As soon as you jump on the system, you receive a hail from a nearby civilian NG vessel. Their captain appears on your screen. Strange bug. Can you assist in debugging? Listen to their problems. Found a... Uh, Found malfunctioning mantis. Believes it is human. Will receive input only from human. Danger evaluation. Extremely high. Provide assistance. We have a bunch of blue here. You know what? Let's use the mind control system to calm him down. That seems like the safest option, right? Sweet. The mantis calms down, communicates thanks to the NG and yourselves for helping. Uh, he requests we dropped off at the nearby planet after uh, at the human colony where he was raised. They were grateful for his return and offered you a, a lot of reward. That's a lot of scrap. Anti-ship beam drone one is nice to sell. <laughs> Don't particularly want it, but we'll sell it. Um, all right, we and we have enough to hit this distress beacon. Nice. As soon as you arrive, distress signal. Shots are fired toward your ship. A trap! Oh, no. That is a Vulcan. That needs to come offline immediately. They have an NG. That's going to be annoying. He's he's my mind control target. This Vulcan is going to fire extremely fast. Um, so let's mind control the NG. Let's hit these shields. On the upside, yeah, that Vulcan takes a lot of juice. So, everything's on fire. This is, so, oh, and they killed their NG. So good. All right. Hit that cloaking device. Make that thing miss. Uh, I don't mind control that pilot when, it comes, when he comes out. Their ship might just fall to pieces. There we go. Fight each other, I say. Why aren't you fighting? Go see shooting stuff. Go stop them. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Ah, uh, no, no, we're not accepting your surrender. I have a feeling that the uh, if this laser shot gets off and kills him, we'll get the bigger reward. Yes. No more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of all useful materials. And then it immediately explodes as the fire consumes it. <laughs> Just give it a second. Oxygen's on fire. It's burning up. There it goes. Bye, ship. <laughs> yeah, let's jump to this exit beacon. And let's... Uh, nothing here. Nope. All right, so before we go to the next sector, we'll go to the sector map. We're four sectors in. We're halfway through the journey right now, about an hour in, which is pretty good. Usually the last sectors go a little faster than the first sectors because you're really trying to milk them and looking for the things you need. We really need to upgrade our weapons um, and hopefully pick up a hacking unit before the end. Um, we're going to go rock here so we can go to green worlds before the final fight there. Um, and maybe because the final sector goes a lot faster than the than the first six. So we're going to take a short break here. Because um, it's just a good opportunity to take a break. <laughs> and uh, when we come back, we'll finish up this run of FTL. It sounds like a plan to me. So if you're having a good time tonight, I encourage you to follow so you notify when we go live again. If you're uh, watching this replay on YouTube, I encourage you to subscribe so you notify when new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Twitter at Stethrell and find me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Stethrell. We'll be right back after this short break.